Welcome back everyone, my name is J7Js, bringing you a video on the best characters and jobs in Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Even though every job is viable to a certain extent, some are just a cut above the rest. With that being said, let's get started. Now this might be a controversial opinion, but one of the best characters in the game is none other than... My name is Marche. I am a warrior in a land called Ivalice. Can you please help me destroy the crystals so I can leave? Despite being the main character, he is practically a generic with a unique sprite. But because he starts off with combat combo learned, means Marche can secure kills and land hits on enemies without missing. For this reason, he is one of the best early game characters. The other best human character is Chaney. Assuming you recruit him, he comes joined level up as a hunter, which is the best human job with its all around solid stats and can devastate enemies with Ultima Shot that he also has learned. The Hunter's Sonic Boom is also a very deadly AoE. If you want something up close and personal, Paladins are the strongest melee option for humans with their ability to equip Night Swords, which are the best weapons in the game. With their Holy Blade ability, most enemies will be dropped in one hit. Paladins also have an impressive defense stat, although I recommend spending some time leveling up as other jobs with superior speed, such as Hunters and Ninjas. Now for the honorable mentions, the blue mage. They aren't deadly in terms of kill potential, but things like knight, which can sleep all enemies, angel whisper, which heals and bestows auto rays, means they're an awesome support character, and the damage MP reaction ability can make a single character near invincible. Just learning all these abilities can be a hassle. Lastly, the thief, even though I don't recommend leveling up as one, their steel abilities are great for getting some of the best equipment in the game. Overall, the Humes and FFTA are the most balanced and in my opinion the second best race in this game, allowing them to have options to deal insane damage while also having amazing reaction and support abilities from their diverse jobs. Now for the most overpowered race in FFTA, the Vieras. Because they are ladies, they all can equip a ribbon which makes them immune to all negative status ailments. I don't need to really explain this one, but by far the most overpowered job in this game is the Assassin. They have good move, jump, and with all around great stats, especially in speed and attack, and access to abilities like Last Breath and Ultima Masher, they are the most deadly by far. Assassins can get up close with katanas or finish enemies off from a distance with their great bows. For these reasons, they are cut above everything in FFTA. Although not as deadly, snipers are another great option, especially Sarah for great bow users. She joins the clan with Seven Heaven, Galmia Set, and Ribbon, which are some of the best items in the game. Snipers do have a bit more attack than the Assassin. They can also destroy enemy equipment, and Conceal lets them get off some great sneak attacks. If you prefer magic, then the best character is the Red Mage Eldina, as she already comes with double cast learned. I just recommend getting her at a lower level, and level her up in Summoner and Assassin to really boost her magic and speed, then switch her into a Summoner for double cast to see some insane magic damage. Vieras have access to a variety of abilities and jobs, they are all female and are the only ones that can be assassins, so in my opinion, they are by far the best race in FFTA. One of the main mascots of the Final Fantasy series, the Moogles. Honestly, when compared to Humes and Vieras, nowhere near as good. However, the best Moogle in the game is Linny. He is a Moogle Knight who comes with ultimate charge. I recommend getting him at a lower level slightly and spending some time in Thief to increase that speed stat, or if you want to focus on attack, stay as a Mog Knight. Then at max level, switch to Gunner, and you can attack with Ultima Charge from a great distance while using a gun. Lastly, Jugglers are a strong support with things like Smile, Knife, and Ring Toss, being able to give your allies an instant next turn from inflicting negative status elements. They're just wonderful to have on your team. Just like the Humes, Moogles are the only other race that has access to Thief, and they are a good option if you want to focus on the speed stat when leveling up, and more importantly, when you want to steal some awesome equipment from enemies. On to the new Maus. They specialize in magic, and the best new Mao character and job is Quinn the Sage, because he comes with Ultima Blow, 
and Giga Flare already learned for great damage. Morphers are simply too gimmicky and getting them to their max potential takes too long. In my opinion, new miles are the weakest of the races in FFTA. All their jobs have very slow speed growth rates besides Morpher. However, if you go the Morpher route, your magic attack growth rate will take a hit. Last but not least, the Bangas. This race heavily specializes in physical combat, and the best Banga character would be Gladiator Palanza, as he comes with Ultima Sword. Gladiators and Dragoons are among the best jobs to raise for stat growths and can do great damage, so they are the best jobs. Once you are maxed, I recommend switching them over to Templar, as they can equip Knight Swords, Heavy Armor, and even Acacia Hat. Templar Dragoon is also a great final option with Black Robe with Breath Shenanigans. And Gladiator's Spellblade Tech. Bangas are good, but they are also slightly lacking on the speed stat, even if you raise them or spend time leveling up as a white monk. They also lack the support ability Concentrate, which can lead to things like Ultima Sword frequently missing more often. This was my video for the best characters and job classes in FFTA. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.